Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another Borderlands video and today's topic will be the history of Captain Scarlet and she's best known for being very, very honest about betraying the Vault Hunter, for having a rack hive as a pet, and for having an absolutely obsessed stalker named Herbert. So to start it off, Captain Scarlet is 29 years old. She's from the planet Eunomia and of course, since she is a pirate, her favorite color is gold. Captain Scarlet first came to Wormwater with an ally, now turned enemy, named Sandman after learning about the Captain Blade treasure. Through her many different betrayals, she's gained quite a few enemies, and by doing so, this has cost her pieces of the compass needed to locate Captain Blade's treasure. The first compass piece she lost was when she tried to stab Sandman in the back, literally. Sandman left Captain Scarlet's crew with a piece of the compass and then started to gather pirates to aid in killing Captain Scarlet. Once the Vault Hunter meets Scarlet, they eventually are sent to kill Sandman and retrieve his piece of the compass. Her obsessive stalker, Herbert, had the third piece of the compass, but he was thrown off the ship due to his sexual advances on Scarlet, and again the Vault Hunter is sent to deal with Herbert and obtain the compass piece. So if we reference Captain Scarlet's official profile, it makes mention of her being wanted, but there is no in-game wanted posters that the Vault Hunter can come across, so we do not know how much is being offered on her head, but her crimes are theft, murder, cheating, dishonesty, and excessive cheeriness. You know, pretty normal pirate stuff. So in the later stages of her DLC, Captain Scarlet is swallowed whole by the Leviathan, the guardian of Captain Blade's treasure, where she comes across her pet rack hive Roscoe, who was also swallowed by the Leviathan at some point before Captain Scarlet was. The Vault Hunter ends up fighting Captain Scarlet and Roscoe in the stomach of the Leviathan, and eventually the Vault Hunter kills Roscoe. Then Captain Scarlet flees from the Vault Hunter via a personal teleporter device. There's large amounts of speculation about what happened to Captain Scarlet and whether or not she made it out of the Leviathan, where she fled to, and this is due to the fact that there's next to no information on her whereabouts. Grandma Flexington, in the horrible hunger of the ravenous Waddle Gobbler Headhunter DLC, makes mention of Captain Scarlet to the Vault Hunter during her storytime mission. Grandma Flexington says that she crossed paths with Captain Scarlet some time ago, and that Scarlet didn't hold any grudges against the Vault Hunter, that she was very polite, and that the Vault Hunter should try and meet up with her again. So at the very least, we know Scarlet is still alive. Did you know that Captain Scarlet was originally meant to be killed at the end of the DLC by the Vault Hunter? There's dialogue that obviously wasn't used in game given the fact that Captain Scarlet is alive. You can hear that echo here. You killed Captain Scarlet? Cool. Very cool. You should get out of that worm and get your treasure. Don't you think, Jennifer? Captain Scarlet has a number of weapons bearing her insignia, which are the Stinkpot Jacobs Elemental Assault Rifle, the Greed Jacobs Elemental Pistol, the 12-pounder Torg Rocket Launcher, the Sandhawk Doll SMG, the Jolly Roger Bandit Shotgun, and the Pimpernel Malawan Sniper Rifle. Many players will also asso associate her with the Seraph weapons due to them first being introduced in her DLC. And here's a couple closing facts about Scarlet. She was friends with Nisha, who is Jack's girlfriend and a playable character in the pre-sequel. She also knows of Moxie because Scarlet has asked if Moxie has said anything about her. And she, like many of the people on Pandora, is missing limbs. We don't know what happened to her, but she is missing half of her left arm and most of her right leg. While the Vault Hunter never sees her without her prosthetics, her missing leg must have happened recently as Herbert has racy photos of Scarlet with both of her legs. And lastly, this one is something that I feel a lot of people don't know. It's not exactly important to her history, but Scarlet is voiced by the same voice actor who voices Lilith. So that's a pretty interesting fact, and I think that one definitely got past a lot of people. So I thought it'd be cool to end the video off with that. So if you guys like this sort of thing, consider leaving a like. If you got something to add, go ahead and drop a comment down below. And if you guys are into Borderlands, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.